I'm satisfied with the shots I take. I practice the I might not have went in as much as I like to, but I, I just wanted to find the right moments to take over the game, and, and I did that. Um, you know, but it wasn't just me. I mean, look at look, look across the board. A little bit had one of his best games. I mean, 25. I mean, that's, I think that's a career high for him. That's big time. And Sean D, you know, with 24, Jacoby has been playing out of his mind these past few games, and he deserved everybody to start this year. I'm so proud of that kid. Like I watched him, you know, be frustrated from hitting that freshman slump, and I told him, man, just keep working. You know, God work with hard work, man. Just just keep working, and don't worry about what everyone, anyone else says. Nobody believed in him, but you know, I believed in him, and we don't care about outside noises. We care about what everyone in that locker room and what we do for our program. Brandon, you guys were down, I think, nine, Chris, you five, nine seconds of regulation yep. and came back and they had a couple of turnovers to give you an opportunity, but you guys pounced on them. What, yep. what does that say about you guys to respond Good. to that last uh, six it's, plus minutes? It's, like, like uh, my head coach said, man, we can't tease him, you know, with, with that type of effort. So we just got to continue to battle throughout all the 40 minutes, whether it's 45 or 50 minutes, we went out to win the two overtimes. But it just shows you what we're capable of. Now we got to take this momentum, carry, carry it to senior night, and then the following two games on the road next week against two great teams. We talked Curry. yesterday about you have not having a chance to be good. Now you've done it. What are the emotions? I saw you crying on the court, embracing everybody. What are your initial emotions? Man, I was just crying because, man, like when you – like I said in the interview, when you go through what I went through in terms of people doubting you and always hearing like, man, you're not as good as your father, you're not, you don't belong in the ACC, and all you, what's up, bro? and all you want is an opportunity, and I did that, and I got my opportunity, and I just took full advantage of it. You know, I was ready when my number was called, and I, I you know, I was, like I said, I was over 10 at first, but I stayed with it, you know, and I hit shots when, when it mattered, we won the game. It was a team effort, you know. You can cross up my stats, but you know, the way Sean D, Olivier, and Isaiah, those guys play, and, and uh, Jacoby as well, I mean, you can't thank those guys enough for that effort, man. Jacoby has been relentless. Did I see, did somebody pick you up on the court? Say it again. Did fans pick you up on the court? <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah that, that would be uh, Carlos. <laughs> That's all, you know, he, he was a projected, he was on the NFL draft board this year. He, was, he decided to go back to school. I'm really close with him. We call him Boogie. So, uh, then yeah, Boogie, Boogie picked me up. Uh, it's the first time I've ever been picked up in my career, and it's the second time I was on the court. So it's a great opportunity, man. I, I can't complain. Well, I'm in heaven right now. So. At, at what so point did it become? What was the thought, though, when you were looking up at the crowd around you being held up and they're everywhere? I mean, just embracing it. Like, man, that's when people get that opportunity. You know, just embracing it, just having fun. This is what college is about. You know, heading into March, and y'all know how March Madness is, anything can happen. And, you know, tonight was our night. At what point did it become it's, real to you, Brandon? At what point did you know you you guys had this? When it was thirty, when I know we had the game. Yeah. When we were down ten, and we went in the timeout. We were down ten. We were down ten, but like let me say, it was four minutes left, and we were in the media timeout, and uh, and I looked at everyone and remind you, I still have yet to score, and everyone just kept telling me, "Be chill, take over the game." Now in the back of my mind. I want you guys to put yourselves in my position. Okay, you're the starting point guard, you're the leading scorer of the team, you're 0 for 10, and you got guys telling you to, yo, take over the game. That just shows you the trust they have in me. So it's like, you know what? I got this, guys. Like, we're gonna do this together. Let's get stops, let's keep going, you know, let's build, let's build on this momentum, let's carry, let's have some momentum going into these next four minutes and finish the game. And that's what we did. We just kept fighting every possession. We may not have got the defensive stops we wanted to, but we did. We went into overtime. Um, we didn't execute the, the play we wanted, but we went into double overtime. Then after that, you know, the rest is history. Does it make it even more satisfying considering how the last two games at their place ended for you guys? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely it's almost a humble experience. Um, first uh, two games ago against Duke, um, not two games ago, the, the two, the first time, the second time we played them last year, we lost on the second, uh, last second shot, well, we missed the last second shot, and that was the closest I've, you know, gotten the opportunity to beat Duke besides my freshman year, and then the first game uh, this year, we lost by 35, and it was just embarrassing, and um, honestly, I had, you know, highlights and films of that game, you know, playing throughout the screens in the locker room and the screens like in the coaches locker room just to remind me like man we can't like I wasn't myself at that game. We weren't we wasn't waiting for we didn't play away for us basketball. And you know, right now, like I mentioned before, we did a good job. We just gotta carry this momentum. It's a Saturday.